Hello folks, and welcome to Let's Play Advance Wars for Game Boy Advance. Now, this is another game that uh, I have only a superficial experience. I have played uh, maybe 40 minutes of this game years ago, but never actually played it properly. So, since this is one of the most uh, uh, highly appreciated game for Game Boy Advance, I think it's time for me to really uh, give this a chance. Welcome to Advance Force. Please enter, enter your name. Certainly, milady or general. Yes, it's nice to meet you. Answer. I'm Nell. I'm a co-o in the Orange Star Army. Is this your first time playing? No, but I really don't remember the mechanics and controls. So, better take the tutorial. Very well. Let me explain a few things briefly. There are several different modes of gameplay. The versus mode is for multiplayer battle on one Game Boy Advance. To play Advance Wars on more than Okay, yes, I don't have it. And then there's field training. If you're playing for the first time, you should start in field training. Would you choose field training on the mode select menu, please? In the field training, I can instruct you on game controls and overall battle strategy. Once in field training, please complete the missions in order from top to bottom. The first lesson is on troop orders. Let's start here. Certainly, Mrs. Basic troop movement and attack controls are explained here. First, let me brief you on the situation. We're in this large nation here, Orange Star. The country to the east is Blue Moon. The two countries have been bitter rivals for years. Border skirmishes has died down recently until that madman Olaf. Oh, excuse me, I mean the Blue Moon CEO Olaf suddenly ordered an inv invasion of Orange Star. So the Alara region is now held by Blue Moon forces. Candidate Anson, you have been given a mission. You are to drive Olaf from Alara and s secure it for Orange Star. I will be your support. Let's move out. So this is a kind of a strategy game or a turn paced strategy game or a puzzle game. The Alara region is quite remote, that's why Olaf hasn't deployed many troops into the area. You yourself have two infantry units under your command. These orange units are ours. These blue units are the enemy. They belong to the Blue Moon Army. Defeat the enemy forces to complete this mission successfully. But let's issue some orders. The cursor is used to give commands. The control pad moves the co cursor. First, let's command this infantry unit. Do you place the cursor on the infantry unit, please? Certainly. The action you just completed is called selecting. You'll see this term often, so you do your best to remember it. When you select a unit, the area around it will become highlighted. This area re represents the, sele the selected 
unit's range of movement. First, let's approach the enemy with this unit. Try moving the unit to this space. Move the cursor here and press the A button. After a unit moves, this menu will appear. Select Wait and then press the A button to confirm the command. The unit's color changed, right? This indicates that the unit can't receive any more orders this turn. Don't worry, you'll be able to use it again on your next turn. Okay, now use the same controls to move this infantry unit. Move it as close as possible to the enemy. Both of your units have finished their movements for this turn. When you have when you have finished giving orders to your units, you must end your turn. Press the A button on an empty space to display the map menu. Ugh. Our army units have moved into the Alara region. Ha! Oh, they won't last long. My troops there will make short work of them. It looks like Olaf has noticed our arrival. His infantry units are heading this way. Stay calm. If we proceed with caution, we'll be fine. Now it's time to order this infantry unit to fire on the enemy. Please select this unit. Infantry units must be next to the enemy to fire on them. Move your unit here. Do you see the fire command on the menu? Please select this command. This is the cursor you will use to select which enemy unit to attack. There's only one unit you can engage now, so press the A button to fire. You scored damage on the enemy. Do you see the numbers of the units? This indicates the unit's HP hit points. All units begin with 10 HP, but as they take damage in the battle, their HP will decrease. When a unit reaches 0 HP, it will vanish from the screen. Notice that your unit has more HP than the enemy unit. This is because the unit that attacks first generally has the advan advantage. Waiting to be attacked is not a good strategy. You should pick your battles and always fire first. If you fire on this unit again, you should defeat it. So now order your remaining infantry unit to engage the enemy. Congratulations! There is only one enemy unit left to deal with. If you stick to your battle plan, you can finish it off too. Select End from the menu and continue on your next turn. What are those fools doing? If I were in the field, they wouldn't be suffering such humiliation. Cursed Orange Star Army, I will defeat it, I will! It's your turn again. You have a 2 to 1 advantage. This battle is yours to win. But wait a minute. This unit 
took damage in the last battle, didn't it? You need to lose some of the firepower when damaged. So it's better to fire on the enemy with an undamaged unit. Go ahead and order your undamaged unit to attack. This is how the A button is used to select units and issue commands. If you make a mistake and want to change orders, use the B button. It's key that you remember this. Now that the enemy unit is damaged, this infinite unit can finish it. Move it and fire on it. You've defeated all the enemy units. Your mission is a success. Keep up the good work. What? Inconceivable. That land was mine. Oh, did they lose it so easily? Well, next time, a victory will be mine. Congratulations, Hansen. You won. Now you will see the rank that your strategy has earned you. Speed is based on how quickly you won, while power is based on how well you concentrated on your attacks and overcame your enemies. Technique is based on how many of your own troops were lost. You'll earn a rank for each map you clear, so you can compare your scores to your friends. Good luck on your next campaign! Alright. So we have 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 training missions. Okay, we can do maybe two more. This mission focus focuses on defensive terrain co power cover. Enemy forces have been spotted in the Alara Mountains. So HQ is in another area, so we believe this is a covert attack. A covert attack that sounds like something Olaf would try. Your goal is to take out these units. You have been given four infantry units to carry out this operation. Let's go. Hmm. The enemy has deployed some, deployed some mech, mechanized infantry units. This could be trouble. Mech units have more firepower than your standard infantry do. You won't be able to defeat mech units in di direct combat. So you'll have to use the terrain to give you some defensive cover. I'll explain about terrain features as we go. Select this infantry unit, please. Let's re review what we learned so far. Order this infantry unit to fire. Excellent! Okay, select this infantry unit next, please. Do you notice anything different? Up till now, the highlighted movement area for infantry was three spaces. Well, in the mountains it's less. Movement costing double here. This means your movement rate will be half of that on the plains. Do you think that? Do you think that means you should avoid mountains? That would be a very serious tactical error. Mountains offer advantages advantages that compensate for movement cost. You'll understand once you fire on the enemy. Go ahead, engage the enemy and fire. Now, compare the HP on the two infantry units you used to attack. 
the last unit took less damage than the first unit, didn't it? This is because of another terrain feature called defensing, defensive cover. You're at, you attack the enemy from the mountains, right? Defensing cover in the mountains is this number here, a 4. The defensive cover on the plane is 1. The higher the defensive cover rating is, the less damage you'll take. Is that clear? Good. I knew you were a quick study. Go ahead and fire on the remaining infantry units. Select the end when you're finished. Troops, you that's pretty good. But this time <laughs> things will be different. You learn what it means to face make units. I escape what's from back here. No need for me to do actually to actually be the in the field. I'm still in charge though. Your turn. Make units really back a punch, don't they? But if you'll notice, one infantry unit took less, less damage than the other. Do you know why? It's because of superior defensive cover. Remembering this is vital. You should also keep in mind that movement cause differs between units. For example, mech and infantry units have different movement types. So, their respective movement costs in mountains are 2 and 1. When you need intel like this, place the cursor on the space and press the R button. This works for terrain features as well as for all unit types. So for intel on unit movement type, coast, etc, remember the R button. Well, I leave the rest of this battle to you. They may have mech units, but you have superior numbers. Focus on what you have learned. Use it well and victory will be ours. Yours. Can you shoot di diagonally? Oh, one more thing. If at any point during the battle you need to stop, there's a way to save 
Saving will prevent you from having to start the same mission over again. Please go to the map menu now. Place the cursor on an empty space and press A button. Press the save command right. This will allow you to save your progress during battle. Use this whenever you need to take a break from the mission. I'll let you decide whether or not to save at this point. Okay, just a little more work here and you should defeat Olaf. Don't let your guard down though. Good luck and move out. No need to save, I have quick save function. Why are they not attacking? Can you attack here? No. Let's rewind. You've done it! These units really well recovered operation. Thanks to your planning, our troops took minimal damage. Keep up the good work. Or another failure. After all of my careful planning, another botched mission. Grr, next time I will prevail. Victories and chess. This mission will explain the join command and discuss basic strategy. I think that Grieve Olaf, I mean CEO Olaf, is starting to take us seriously. I think CEO is colonel, yeah. But all of our commanders are caught up in, in other campaigns, so there's no one available to lead the Orange Star Army against him. And so Looks like it's up to you to defend Orange Star. Let me brief you on the, the current mission. Our troops and and route on the last fortress have been laid by Olaf. It's up to you to join up with them, beat back Olaf and secure the area. We need the lost fortress. Move out. Olaf has his bases covered. It looks like he understands the importance of holding this area. Almost all of our units heading for Lost Fortress have been elim eliminated. There are only two tank units left of the original contingent. We must repair them in order to have any hope. Shouldn't this be third, not fourth mission? Anyway. We must repair them in order to have any hopes of winning here. So first, let's pull those two units back here and patch them up. Will you select this tank unit, please? To repair a unit, just move it to an allied city or a secure base. This tank unit can make it to this city, please move it here. Good. That's right. This tank unit will now recover 2 HP for every turn it stays here. Now, let's withdraw this tank unit too. Would you select it, please? I 
I'd like to repair this unit now, but there's no safe place within its movement range. There's nothing we can do about that. Let's get it as close to a city as possible and begin repairs next turn. Would you move it here, please? That's right, thank you. But we can start there, can we? The unit the unit is still vulnerable, vulnerable to attack from the enemy's tank unit. Place the cursor on a unit and press the B button to check its attack range. The area it can fire upon will appear in red. Well, what to do now? How about giving it a little assistance? Let's deploy another unit around it to prevent it from being attacked. This tactic is called building a defensive wall. Our available units are this mech unit should do nicely. Move it here to create a defensive wall. is safe from enemy attack. Enemy units can't cross allied lines and vice versa. You can see why a defensive wall is such an, e an effective strategic tool. This mech unit will come under fire but it should be able to hold the turn. Since we have now two mech units we should be okay for two days. So move the mech units up and then deploy the infantry as you like. Press any when you're finished. Star forces have arrived. It looks like the group that's been giving me such trouble too. But they don't even have one decent tank unit with them. I've nothing to fear from these wrecked fools. Prepare to be rooted. Closing in, but the tanks need more time to for repairs. Even regaining 2 HP per day, we're not going to be ready in time. It looks like we'll have to join these two units together. Please select this tank unit. Great! Put the cursor here and move to this spot. Select join from the menu, please. You did it! The units have been merged. When two units join, they combine their HP. Of course, now there's only one unit, but I know that two units may seem better than one at most times, but running around with low HP is very risky. I recommend using join when you feel it's necessary. I'm going to leave the rest of this mission to you. Do you want some strategic advice? Sure. The tank unit will have full HP and be ready to go on the next turn. First use your mech and tank units to destroy the enemy tanks. If your mech units take too much damage, use join to match them. If you can just get rid of Olaf's tank units, you'll surely win. A 
as long as you keep your HQ from being seized, you can't lose. You can also win by capturing the enemy's HQ, but it will be faster to defeat all of the enemy units. Good luck! Keep this here. Let's see what happens. Okay. should be able to destroy this tank. Excellent. Suicide, but that was actually quite stupid. to defend our headquarters.
join. Blue Moon forces have retreated. Capturing this area was vital to our strategy. You did a great job. Keep up the good work. Well, so she does have her hand in this. That explains why this little group has been such unexpected trouble. It is unforgivable. Next time I will give them a display of a true might. Mark my words. Victory. I'm standing and saying one. Despite that one stupid mistake. Okay, so we skipped this one. Capturing bases is the focus of this mission. Current mission is the is to storm the Spire Hills. If successful, we should be able to drive the Pampas all... I mean, we should be able to force the Blue Moon forces to withdraw. If you remember, we faced two mech units in the last battle, right? In response, you've been given command of two mech units yourself. This area is crucial to, to, to the defense of the Alara region. This explains the four enemy tank units deployed and waiting for us. Fortunately for us, those tanks can cross the mountains. So let's take care of business here first and deal with this them later. Them later. Let's secure some bases by capturing the local cities. Select this infant unit, please. Put your move here. supplies and HP in allied cities. So what are supplies? You see the new menu command cap capture. Please select this command. This city is now half captured. It takes at least two days to capture a city. 
or that is unit to capture again next turn to secure an allied base. Oh, I, I almost forgot. Don't move a unit that's in the process of capturing a city. If you do, you'll have to begin capturing it all over again. The same is true if the capturing unit loses all of its HP. Do your best to protect units trying to secure their bases. Okay, now let's move these mech units. Go ahead and select it, please. Only infantry and mech units can capture new bases. Remember this when deploying units into unsecured areas. Move the unit to this position, please. Now go ahead and move the rest of your units close to the cities. Select then when you finished moving. Forces have appeared again. Those coverts. Taking my most remote units, how typical. But wait, I have some tank units deployed there. Ho ho ho. Crushing those infantry and mech units will be a piece of cake. Fight on, my loyal troops. This time you shall be victorious. First, you should always start by completing the capture of cities. Please select this infantry unit and press the A button. Now, these cities are yours. It's the same color as your troops, right? You can now use it as a base. So now you can see that these cities are under enemy control. By the way, the gray cities are neutral. Let's get back to discussing bases. If you put a damaged unit in a base, it will recover some HP each turn. You will also receive 1000 G per day for each city you capture. These ones are crucial for restoring, restoring HP to your units. Funds are also used for other purposes, but I'll explain those later. Now. Ok, now use this mech unit to capture a new base. Would you please select this unit? Now, here's a problem for you. Two cities are within your movement range. One is neutral and one is hostile. Which one should you capture first? Yes, that's the correct choice. Of course, capturing either one of these cities is a plus for you, but if you secure, th secure the enemy city, you also reduce your foes' funds. Oh yes, there's one more thing you need to know. Look here to see how long it will take to secure the city. The capture number is now 10. When this number is reduced to zero, the city is secure. An infantry unit has 10 HP, so it takes two days capture a city, with a capture number of 20. A damage unit has less HP, so it will take longer for it to capture a city. So now you know how to capture cities, right? I'm going to let you make all of the command decisions from now on. Would you like some advice on how to proceed? Right! Naturally, you can win this battle by defeating all of the enemy units. However, the enemy tank units are extremely powerful Fighting them head-on is not an advisable strategy. I suggest, I suggest waiting by your bases and taking out the infantry and mech units first. Avoid the tank units as you try to capture the enemy HQ. The weakness of tank units is that their threads won't allow them to move through mountains. Place the cursor on a unit or terrain and press the R button for more valuable info. One last thing. Don't let the enemy capture your HQ, you will lose it if, if this happens. That's all, good luck. Okay, let's <laughs> capture this.
better avoid this place because there's a high ground there. I think they will attack this one city there. No. I wonder why. I should uh, be able to fight now. Okay. defense here. I will stay here. For the time, for the time being, or maybe go there. Great. Let's take this back here. And um, let's do this tactical over here. Just like I planned. Now I can attack him. 
and finish the job with this guy. And now we can go to capture the headquarter and because these cannot move move into this area it's a free play for me Just stay there. Outstanding! You have reclaimed the area and forced Blue Mountain to withdraw. There's one more thing I have to tell you. You receive funds by capturing cities, right? Well, once you clear a map, you lose those funds. Sorry. Good luck on the next battle. Unbelievable! We've been forced to withdraw! What's going on? What were the tanks units doing? Those useless fools! I'll take direct command text I'll show you, I'll show you all. And so wins. Okay, I'm looking forward to do the last uh, training missions. So, thanks for watching. See.
see you next time.